Hi guys, Hyperlativ here, the Norwegian Gamer. In this video, you'll be seeing some gun game gameplay and you'll be hearing some thoughts on Black Ops. And my thoughts are what Treyarch did right in this Call of Duty game. So in my last video, I really went on a rant about what Treyarch did wrong and how they screwed up the PC version of Black Ops. This time around, I'll be highlighting some of the things that I really think they did right. So, for example, the balance of, balancing of the perks in this game is really awesome. Um, when I'm creating custom classes for myself, I really find that I often want multiple perks from a single perk slot. I then end up making a compromise of which perk to use. And that hinders me in making a class that is really overpowered for me, or makes me overpowered when I use it. So that really, I think that really shows how well Treyarch balanced the different perks. I also have to say I really like the new economy system. While some people say that it makes experienced Call of Duty players get the gun with the gun with the right attachment faster. I also think that new players uh, will get to the get the get to try the attachment that they want faster, since they don't have to grind through all the other attachments uh, to get to the one that I really think can help them out in the game. And of course when I can just buy the attachment I want, it really removes some of the attachment grinding that we had in earlier Call of Duty games, which y you have to admit, it's kind of annoying. <laughs> I also have to say that I really like the sounds in this game. I know there's been a lot of complaining about the volume of the footsteps. I don't know if it's been... Uh, tweaked as Treyarch put it on the PC version I know it's been uh, been tweaked on the console versions of the game but I really think that the volume is where it should be I have to say if it's semi quiet and I know there's an enemy around I'm really apprehensive about how loud my footsteps are so and I've and I've been sound hoards some a couple of times, so I think it works now, at least on PC. And of course, I have to say I really love the return of the dedicated servers. I am connected to the web through a pretty huge pipe. I've got 40 megabits up and 40 megabits down. So you could say that my internet connection is in the top notch. What is really annoying though, back in the Modern Warfare 2 days, was that I would not be the host when the game was migrating the host. For some reason, it would choose players with a horrible uh, up speed, which would make the game lag. And we used to hack the game to sh instead of showing just the four bars, it would sh show ten bars and we made each bar represent 20 milliseconds in ping so we would really get an accurate estimate of how fast the connection was and we would end up with some really horrible connections in some of the host migrations which really just baffled me and really frustrated me when we were trying to play the only thing I have to say about the dedicated servers, the only gripe I have, is that it's only game servers that can host these servers. So that means for me, I don't get any servers in Norway. Of course there's some servers in Scandinavia as a whole, but I don't get the fast speeds that I would want. In Bad Company 2, we have Norwegian servers, and I would I will find servers with only one millisecond in ping. 
the fastest or the least ping I've found so far in Black Ops is 28. And while it's not bad, and it would show up as a four bar connection in Modern Warfare 2 or Black Ops on consoles, it's just not what we're used to as PC gamers. And I don't think it's good enough, to be quite honest. And without the aim assist, it's not as easy uh, getting people that lag on the PC. So that's really it. That's some of the things that I really like about Black Ops. Of course there's more things that I like. There's more things that I didn't cover in the previous video about things I don't really don't like about the game. But overall I'm liking the game and I'm playing it a lot. and. Yeah, just go buy the game. And of course, it's better on PC than on the consoles, I, I, I have to say. Well, the game is about to end. I'm not far from the end here. So, I'm just going to leave it here and snuck